This is Morgan Frost, and you're watching Nasty Knuckles. You're listening to Nasty Knuckles, the Hockey Outlaws podcast, with your host, Derek Nasty Sotomayor, and former Philadelphia Flyer enforcer, Riley as they go behind the scenes with your favorite NHL players. Time to face off. All right, welcome back. What's happening, Nasty? What's up, Rigorelia? This is it. You nice got the. You. Uh, yeah, good to see you too, buddy. We got the uh, episode this week. You. you you sure on the number here where uh, we're at? 115? 115. I didn't know if we're on 104 or not. Or... <laughs> well, yeah, we're somewhere around there. But uh, yes, nice to be back, brother. Yeah. Everything good? Yeah. How's the, the body holding up? Body's holding up good. I had a We had a men's league game that you missed again. Um, Standard. Again. Standard. Uh, found a way to win. Played Rolling Rock. Good game. Yeah, um, nice. they're good. They got a good team. Um, I did get one. Lucky enough to get one. Um, took a snipe in the back of my knee Oof. from Foxy. Didn't feel real, no, really not. good. No, I'll have not. to get baller that footage. But icing, um, icing that bad boy. Oh, I iced it. Yeah. I iced it. I didn't think I'd be able to walk the next day, but I'm pretty tough. So you I, tough. you know, I walked it off. Um, uh, but I did take a fall the other day. Went over to Cars for a little wiffle ball game. Most unathletic thing I've ever done in my life, the move. I slipped a little bit in the grass. It was wet. Me overserved? No, not yet. Not at that time. I mean, I had a couple, you know. Just a little wobbly clear. knees. I had a couple clear in waters. Um, but, uh, no, my fo- I just lost my footing. So I'm running to try to catch this ball, which I can't see because my cap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaning over because I'm off balance. Not only do I miss it. I slide on the wet grass and my head right into the <laughs> brick wall. I had a golf ball in my head. Oh my and God. Everyone's laying on the ground laughing at the kid. Anybody, I guess that's what I get for, for scaring people. I guess so. Anybody get any footage of that? Uh, no, thank God. That's what I said. Thank God. No, I actually, I wish I did have I kinda it. I kind of wish you did. Um, and, and Chef Greg was there with us, the, the great chef for the Flyers. And um, he went up to bat and he had flip flops on. Not uh, a good move. Not a good move. Took a cut like. Bryce Harper, hard as he could, both feet right out, oh, boom, right on his back. <laughs> that was the end of him? He said, I'm done. That's it. He yeah. said, I'm done, boys. I'm just going to sit here and watch. But, um, yeah, so I t- t- took a couple falls, but I'm all right. You're I'm right. feeling pretty good, man. Yeah, if you would have been there, maybe you would have taken one for me, but yeah. can't find you. Well, when you're that in shape, you, you can recover <laughs> quick. <please. laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, I'm just still not in very good shape. But no. anyway. It won't. We did. You guys won, I yeah? I pitched the eighth and ninth there you inning. Go. Yeah. They kept trying to extend it. First, we said seven innings. Then they wanted to go to nine. We shut them down. We, go. we got the win. Good stuff. Trying to think everybody was on my team. It was me and Beezer, Waiter. Who else was on our team? Gosh. Carter was not. He's like throwing 99 mile an hour wiffle balls. You can't even like see the damn thing. But we won anyway. That's that's go. the end of the story. Nice crew. Yeah, yeah. It was good. It was a bunch. It was about, it was like five, five on five. I just can't, my mind's going a little blank on me here. But anyway. Yeah. Um, CD's kicking in. How about the, how about the playoffs so far, man? Yeah, it's been pretty interesting. Has been. Um, some more interesting than others. Yep. But um, the one that I, I've really had fun watching is the Devils and the Rangers. I thought it was going to be a sweep after the first two games in Jersey where they kind of smacked them around pretty good. Yeah. Um, but the, the Devils come back, won one game in overtime, game three. It was huge. And uh, then they you know they found a way to win the game four there. So it's 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 been fun to watch for me just because I, I love when they go. I want them to go seven. Well, I wish there was that rival, yeah. But that rivalry is great. Yeah, and exactly. there's no way anyone thought after they got the – those two that the devils would you know they're a young team man yep. go go into new york city and and I, I don't know if you were able to watch much of the games but man it was i was kind of getting chills it was pretty cool like when they were getting ready to drop the puck that place was going bananas oh, yeah. man i was like dude I, I think the devs might get killed here but they found a way to win and overtime threw it through rookie in there uh in net smith like um and he's 2-0 and right now yeah schmidt happens Smith happens <laughs> that was said and uh you know, a little Jay-Z. 
Oh yeah, it's doing all right. Yeah. yeah, not bad. Um, looks so, like you out there, or you look like him. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, I wish, dude. Dang, no, he's Toby. sick. He's such a sick player. Yeah, he is. Um, but yeah, like you know, the big names for for the Rangers have kind of done what they need to do. Kreider, he's got five goals, mm-hmm. you know, in the four games, and <clears throat> Adam Fox has, I think, six helpers. And Kane has six points, I believe. Um, uh, only one goal, but five assists. But he's kind of a disher. But he does, you know, he can score. But anyway, it's been an interesting series. I can't wait for, for game five. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I agree. I would like to see that one go seven. Yeah, that would be sick. That would be sick. Some serious heat there. Oh, yeah. What else we got? Um, Carolina and the Islanders. It's kind of been a sleepy, a little sleepy series yeah. for me. I did watch um, the full game last night, which was... went out the Isles. Eh? Yeah, they did. Sorokin, that was probably one of the... That was He kind of stole that game, in my opinion, and that's what they were looking for from him. Uh, I know we were talking about that earlier, uh, but now they got to go home. You, you know, you win that game, now all the pressure's on Carolina coming back oh, for yeah. a game seven. And, and uh, you know, obviously with... Things definitely changed for Carolina when Sveshikov, uh had his season ended with a knee injury. Yeah, um, cool. so they're just not the same team, but they still, man, they play hard, Carolina, and they play yep. fast. Yep. And, um I kind of enjoy watching them play. Um, Ghost is playing really well. Yeah, them too, man. God, he took a couple one timers last. I mean, they were just absolute just bombs, bombs yeah. man. But uh, now I'm there. kind of more interested in this series because they're going back to the island see what happens there so um it, it's it's been i i wasn't like enjoying it too much but la- after last night's game now i'm kind of more into make it. it a series yeah, yeah. very good yeah what man else we got? um boston's up 3-1 yep on uh florida which you know florida went in there and won that game two and i think people thought well they'll probably get one at home but Boston, yeah, just like we've talked about, on. man. God, are they good? And and you know they get Taylor Hall's got seven points. You know, um, what a goal! He, that's yeah, a good goal he scored the other day. Just I know, like, uh, it's crazy. And then you know a guy that they picked up at the at the deadline, Bertuzzi. He's got six points. I know, what a great um, grab. He's great for yeah. playoffs oh, too. Yeah. Like he's he's one of those guys yeah, in your face. You already got Marshawn. Now you got yeah. him, and you got Hathaway. Like you you got great Frederick too, edition. right? Like yep. um, they're just. They're just a tough team to play against mm-hmm. in general. Plus, they're really good. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. So they're up three one. I, I would say they probably finish this one off I in, in so. Boston. Um, but you never know. You never know. Our, our boy Alex Lyon hung in there. Um, finally got pulled in game three, and then they went with Bob, and didn't matter. No, didn't matter with that team. So. Yep. Um, Man. I was really pumped up once Florida won, just to see where the series went. But Boston put their foot down and. Yeah, you know, I don't think it matters control. who's in the pipes. I think just <laughs> yeah. you, you're, you're gonna have to deal with a flurry of offense. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's all four lines too. Like, oh yeah, they, exactly. just the way they play. It's just, um, I, it was funny when <clears throat> Omar went after Kachuk the other night when they, you know, all that shit was going on, and uh, they asked Jimmy Montgomery about it. You know, well, how do what do you think? He goes, I love it. Yeah, <laughs> he, of course he said, is. I love it. <laughs> yeah, he's into it, man. Which I do too. I think that shit's cool. Oh yeah. Um, a jacker team up. Yeah, exactly. There's been a lot of bit of rough stuff in all these series, which it's that's why you love the playoffs, that's it, right? right? Like it's you, the playoffs. You know, guys start hating one another at least for the series anyway, even when they're buddies. But um, yeah, yeah, that, that one's. Uh, I think that one's going to be over. Yeah, I think so. And we so. both had Boston there. We did, didn't we? So maybe we got one thing right. <laughs> yeah, that was um, that was an easy pick. That was, well, that one. Maybe not, I think it was. Yeah, well, it, it seemed was. to be like a slam dunk pick. But um, what do you think about Toronto? They're up three one. Yeah, you know, Tampa. geez. I mean, um, I say I don't think they deserved to win last game, but obviously they did. I mean, yep. Tampa handed it to them. Yeah, right. I mean, um, yeah, wild. I mean, geez, I just. I, I, thought, didn't see, I didn't see it going the way it's going. I, I didn't either. I, I, you, you have to give Toronto credit, yeah. though. Both, both games in, in Tampa, like, I mean, they fuck, they found a way, man. They fought back. When they were up 4-1 in game four, I'm like, all right. And then they get the goal. They get one goal, and then next, and you're like, oh, boy. You can yeah. almost feel it yeah. like, coming. Oh, yeah. um, but, you know, like Mitch Marner, man, 10 points in four games. Not Jesus, bad. man. Pretty good little player. <sighs> Matthews has three goals, I think, four helpers. Um, you know, but Tampa, they're big guns. I mean, it's funny. Kucherov has six points. I think he's only got one goal. But Corey Perry, 
right there in the mix. This guy's yeah, still know, right? doing yeah, it. He's in the middle of everything, and they've had some good tilts. Our boy Shenner had a really good fight with Jano, yeah. and I, I saw, I think it was after. He's been playing unbelievable. I did. I mean, he's doing what everything. What a great pickup, too. He's making too, hey? great first passes. Yeah. He's physical. He's just doing everything. He's getting shots through from the point. Like, yeah. he really. And that was in, a great tilly. I mean, that was a really. Boy, did you see their hands after oh, that? Oh, yeah, that was. God. But um, it was funny because th- after the other game, they, Jano, there was like a hot mic again, and he's like, Shenner, we're going to have to go again. You know, like, I don't know if Shenner did anything. I think it was on that hit point, got run, run in the boards. And, and, and Riley is not a guy that's going to do something. I don't think he meant to do it, but boy, did he go in there with a lot of, you watch yeah. that fast motion, even the, the noise of his oh, yeah. body. I thought he was done for the it series. It was a, a very awkward hit. It, it was. Yeah. Um, I don't think Riley was trying to hurt him. Uh, I don't think he's not a player like no, that, no. but, but that was when there were time and they were in between the benches and they were just going back and forth. Yeah. And, um, it's been a fun series that way. I was kind of hoping just, that would be a great seven game series oh, because it's whatever. to because they haven't been out of the first round and it's been so physical. Yeah, you know, and then and they put them out last I, year. I could see, I could see it going seven. You know, Tampa is resilient. You know, yeah. we talked about predictions and Tampa just knows how to win. Like they're not going to go down without a major fight here. And, I agree. Um, how much do you think the Toronto's energy and, and oh passion is coming from Kyle Dubas? <laughs> He was pretty wound up. You never seen that guy like that the other night. He's chirping, chirping. Fads and like, oh, and you see Spaz, Spaz just yeah, sitting there just, like, oh, just, just like, shut like, up. Yeah, like, like, I, he didn't even, he didn't even look. His eyes weren't even moving. He was just like straight ahead. And part of me like, like he likes to see the the passion, but then I also like. You're the, the general GM. manager the of the GM. Toronto Maple Leafs. Yeah. You might want to just sit down and... and <laughs> probably bo- felt so good to Oh, him, probably. Like, yeah. all the shit he gets. Like, oh, my God. But I But, I but you're never going to win on that one. You're chirping a bunch of drunk fans. Right, I mean, right. Come on. Like, yeah, exactly. And uh, I know we were talking about with, funny. with Debo and Baller about uh, Vasilevsky. I, just, I don't think he's been that good. Yeah. You know, like, he's, he hasn't yeah, been good hasn't enough. Been good enough. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, and, and Baller threw a... Uh, point out that uh, Derek Lalonde, a former assistant coach, had said, I guess they were looking at the analytics of it, Baller, is that what they were doing? And they said he had the lowest percentage out of all the goalies with shots from the point. And look at the goals yeah, that right, have gone yeah. in. Like huh. one game winner was from the point, uh, Riley, and then Riley tied the game up the other night from just a wrister at the point. I know those guys coming in front of the net, but mm-hmm. I mean, the numbers are the numbers, and he hasn't looked overly great like yeah, he has. That like guy's got to be run years. down, too. Like, I don't yeah, care I what anybody says. He's played in the last few years. Yeah. yeah. Like, he's, they've, I mean, God, three finals in a row. Yeah. Not um, bad. But uh, hopefully, I'd like to see Tampa sneak out a win and get to come back home and try to push it to game seven. Yep. But I guess we'll see. We will see. I guess we'll see. Um, that's it on the East. Mm-hmm. I know you've been staying up late watching the, oh, all the, the, games. the West game. I know you have. Um, let, let's start with your boy. The, your boys in Winnipeg. Mm. They're down three one. They mm. went in there, won the first game in Vegas. I'm like, whoa, 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 because we talked about how much they had been struggling uh, down the stretch, and then they went in there and they got that uh, game one win. But then it's it's been Vegas ever since. Yeah. You know, um, they toast nothing, nothing, nothing crazy. Like no one going crazy for them, and it's been pretty. Like all the guys are just chipping in. It looks like for Vegas. Like I think Stevenson has uh, six points, two goals, four assists, but no one's like going nuts in that series. So, um, Winnipeg though, your boy Pionk. Pionk. Yeah, <laughs> seven <laughs> points. I didn't even know what was going on there. Right <laughs> but uh, yeah, and. Uh, you know, Wheeler, Wheeler's got like five points, you know, a couple goals, and he's still rocking and rolling. But uh, I think that's just don't have is, enough. Yeah, yeah, I just don't think they have enough, um, in my opinion. Yeah, anyway, uh, I, I agree with that. And uh, Stars and Many, I haven't been able to get into that one too much. I, I've watched, but um, they're up, Stars are up three to two. Uh, losing Pavelski, I thought they were done. Yeah, like, another unfortunate incident with him getting hit he's conky like Sagan stepping up yeah he has shoes. he really has which they i think they've been kind of waiting on tyler yeah, to right do yeah that he's kind of been few years you yeah know, like, he's been a little bit sleepy um but boy he's you know he's stepped his game up mm-hmm. here in this in in this playoffs and, and they're gonna need it especially if pav's not gonna be able to come back but he didn't look good leaving the ice mm-hmm. and he's had a few you know obviously a few uh concussions that we know about um but the Rupe Hans with 11 points in five games. 
Not bad. You know, Debo called that. Debo said, "You watch out for this guy. He's gonna <laughs> fucking, he's crazy. gonna be gone." And I, I didn't listen to you, Debo, and I should have. But, um, but our boy Hartman, who spent a minute here, Roll he's he. he's he's leading many in points. But I mean, it's just I don't know if they have enough. And it was it was kind of uh, you know their coach got a little bit of shit because they went with Flurry in game two after they'd won the first game. Mm-hmm. But I, I kind of, if you're really that worried about throwing flurry in a game like that guy is a guy i would put my money well, on right, but yeah they'd come off uh, overtime and i think that was or double overtime if i'm not mistaken was it a double overtime baller that first game and i think he was just maybe a little worried like hey let's throw flower in it didn't matter because they got shit kicked but yeah. uh, <laughs> it was kind of it was you know you don't usually see that in the playoffs unless there's an injury or yeah, someone's exactly. just playing that bad that poorly um but uh Dallas, Dallas up three two. They got yep. a chance to 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 beat many. So here we go. And then last series. No, second last series. Yeah, come on, man. Sorry, are you on the phone? Kyrie. Yeah, Kyrie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, no, he's in Dallas. <laughs> Fucking huge trade though. <laughs> They're trying to move him for Bedard <laughs> for that first pick. Um, no, the Avalanche into Kraken. Yeah, two 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 two. Yeah, talk about Amazing. some fast hockey. Like two really fast teams. Um. Biggest thing out of this is is McCarr, Kale yeah. McCarr getting suspended. What did yeah. you think of that uh, whole play there with the well, hit? Well, I just think it was unnecessary and not not something that he normally would ever think of doing. I just don't. He's almost like he's rattled. Yeah. Well, obviously, yeah. I mean, I mean, the puck was clearly out of play. Whistle had blown. Yeah, and I just, yeah, just totally very uncharacteristic yeah. of him. Um, not that he's a soft player by any means. I mean, he's not running around killing guys, but he he will play the body. But yeah. that was just like almost like I'm ready to snap, yeah. and he just did something. Um, he only got one game. Thank God for for that. them. Yeah. But I think if someone else does it with any sort of history, it's yeah. because like if it would happen and the play's going on, or, you know the well, puck's not it, there, right? like I, but it wasn't. Yeah, like this play was dead. I feel like he should have at least got two, but. It is what it is, I guess. You it's know. Macar. It's Macar. Yeah. Um, but happy for for Hack, you know, and that yeah. team because boy, they play hard. Um, it's, it's love, been love, fun to watch. I would love to see them find a way. Yeah, it would be it would be fun. I know. I was talking. I told you I was talking to texting with Brian Boucher today, and and uh, he's doing that series. And, yeah. Um, I said how fast it's been. He's like fast. He's like it's these two teams are fast, but. Um, We'll see what happens, man. Game game five coming up. That'll be interesting to see. Yeah. And the last one, Riles. Yeah. Your pick, Edmonton. Yeah. Well. My pick? Yeah. And the Kings. Edmonton went up 3-2 last night. Mm-hmm. Been a pretty good series. Yeah, I know. It's sure. been really – it's been fun to watch, you know – dry sidle with 10 points. I mean, you that power play, they're over 50%. Yeah, it's I know. It's insane, yeah. man. Like, it's just insane watching their power play. You got you have to stay out of the box for the Kings. You have any chance of winning it. Yeah. That's not obviously anybody can tell you that, but um yeah. but for the Kings, you know, Kopitar is playing which you should expect. This guy's been in the league forever. Yep. Um he's playing well. Kempe's playing well. Um the whole team, just like the the series has been so interesting to watch and, and fun, but wow. Like I, if if they can push that one to a game seven in oh, Edmonton, yeah. um, that'd be fun. That'll be a great uh, game to watch. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I just I just want to see them have success. Obviously, yeah. for obvious reasons, with a couple of superstars there, and um, I don't know it's good for good for Canadian hockey. Obviously. Yeah, just, for sure. I mean, as you know, I think they've been underachieving maybe for the last few years. Well, you know, the U.S. just taking over. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you meant? Oh, well, yeah. I meant USA hockey. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, I'm kidding. But uh, when's the last time a Canadian team won? Let's go to the, let's go to the, let's go to commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> Demo baller. Did you see? I saw today too. Speaking of uh, Canadian hockey, they're gonna knock down the saddle though. Oh yeah, they got the yeah. They I guess they're gonna build a new arena. Our boy, our boy, uh, is it Weeks? We Weeger there? Call, <laughs> yeah, call, call him out. So we, we gotta yeah, get new we, gotta, we better do it. Weeks, <laughs> he said it. <laughs> we gotta do Next it. Next week, <laughs> it'll be built by the beginning of the year, like oh, the yeah. season. I think no shit. Be, eh? Yeah, game one. No, fuck no. <laughs> 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 you kidding me? <laughs> it's gonna take two or three years. 
<laughs> build an arena. <laughs> you think you're gonna play some fucking cowboys well, across the street? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I thought it was already, that the foundation was already laid in ass. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Must be. <laughs> They're gonna st- Did you hear him? Really? <laughs> Beginning <of> game one. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some of that shit, dude. <laughs> God. What were you and Debo doing out there? Oh, yeah, game uh, one, boy. He's Calgary. Saddle Dome is... Saddle Dome's <laughs> gone. They knocked it down this morning. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Oh. So, anyway. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what the fuck's wrong? <laughs> Oh, Kyrie. Oh, boy. <laughs> what a move. It's what a, big, a trade. Big trade. Yeah. All right. Aaron Rodgers is involved in the Bedard deal. Oh, it's going to be, it's going to take a lot of teams today. It's going to, sp- a lot of other sports, I guess. Okay. Oh, man. Uh, where were we? Oh, Sorry. man. Um,. <sighs> Yeah. <laughs> Saddle Dome. Saddle <laughs> Weegsy called it. Weegsy called it. Weegsy said, said, boys, I'm take not that playing. Thing down. <laughs> bring it down. Bring it down. Bring, bring, bring it down. Need a new building here. I can't <laughs> perform in this building. Oh, it's actually going to suck. I mean, not suck, but it'd be great for Calgary. They, they deserve a new building. That thing's 40 years old. It is that old. But, but uh, it is a cool building the way it looks like. I hate to see him knock it down. You think you think they could use it for 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 like uh, men's league? Well, yeah, yeah men's <laughs> league. And, well, the junior teams there, and, and uh, yeah. no, but like for or the they, stampede, like for, stampede, for yeah. you know, and but they'll have this new one, so yeah, well, um, cost money to keep one of those. We bad should boys we should one. definitely go out for a few days during the stampede and check just out. check out the ground breaking. <laughs> Everything <laughs> for the new place. See the brand uh, new building up. I got to call Dave Erner up. Uh, the cowboys there tell them we're coming. We're gonna need a spot. We'll take a little helicopter <laughs> over just to see the ground breaking. They're like, they're pouring concrete already, Rick. <laughs> they started this morning. <laughs> Gotta have it ready for game one. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> How do you go about that? <laughs> efficient builders. Yes, very, very efficient. <laughs> very efficient. But uh, oh, anyway, man. man Hopefully the playoffs keep going and 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 stay interesting and uh, it's been awesome so far. So see how our picks end up doing. Yeah, no doubt. It's been you're uh, down. Yeah, you're down. I am down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Anyway, all right. Are you ready? To get, you ready to get into episode eight with Morgan Frost? Two point oh. Two point oh. It's one fifteen. I think we're ready now. <laughs> Let's do it. One fifteen. Yes. Presented by our friends at Cureleaf. Welcome to Cureleaf, a medical marijuana dispensary. Whether you're a longtime patient or you're just getting acquainted with this incredible plant, Cureleaf of Pennsylvania is honored to guide you along your medical marijuana journey. Have questions? Google Cureleaf PA or stop by one of their eighteen locations across the Commonwealth. Or visit cureleaf.com forward slash locations. Nasty. Let's go. Let's go. Welcome back. I'm Riley Cote. And I'm Derek Settlemeyer. And somehow we are wearing the same thing we had on last week. But we are so lucky to have in studio our main man, number 48, Morgan Frost. Frosty, what's up, brother? Yes, sir. Thanks for having me. Dude, what a sweatshirt. MJ. The GOAT. Yeah, it is. The GOAT. That's right. The GOAT. He is the greatest Buddy, how you been, man? I've been good. Yeah, good. Yeah, uh, good year. Yes. Excited to go home now and uh, and see the fam and friends. But um, yeah, I've been chilling. Yeah, man. You know I'll tell you what. Uh, breakout year it was. It was great to see. Um, really showcase what you can do, and and uh, we'll, we'll get into it, talk about torts a little bit. Um, but you know, like you really did show what you know your your skill set which we talked about when you came on the show uh the first time and, and you ran into some injuries and, and stuff like that but it was nice to you got 81 games in i missed the one at home there which yeah. kind of sucks yeah. but that's uh you know that's probably towards being towards there um are you looking forward to getting back home to to give your buddies shit right now with to down one oh <laughs> it's just one game but yeah it's it's just one but uh i uh i was already giving it to them a little bit and uh yeah they're they're all diehard leaf fans and uh 
you know, some of my best buddies are, are kind of turning into Flyers fans yeah. now. They, they like watching our games. So, um, but yeah, always, always going to give it to them about the Leafs. The city's right. having a meltdown already yeah, after game probably one. Are. They yeah. probably are. They probably are. Well, let's talk about uh, like torts. Like we uh, talked with Beezer last week a little bit about it. How, how did you find that? Uh, I don't want to call it experiment because he's going to be here, but um, a, a lot different from the coaches we've had in the last few years. Yeah, it was, it was definitely a change. Uh, different style than I've ever had for sure um I think uh the start of the year I was kind of feeling it out I guess you can say I think it was uh, a little bumpy for me there at the start but um I think once you kind of got to know how how he is and and what he expects I think um as the season went on I think uh you know a lot of guys I think myself included kind of started to understand it better and and uh yeah I think probably probably eased up, up on me a little bit more in the second half which was which yeah was nice. it seemed like he, he you know it's funny when you, you listen to his press conferences he doesn't really hold back and he he you could tell he was starting to like really like you know favor you i don't you know if that's the word if that's the well, right word but yeah show obviously. confidence yeah. in you and that's what young guys need you know like and uh you're a young skilled guy um and and it was nice to see that, and you and then you could see it in your play, yeah, 100%. where you, you know where you're maybe you know not afraid to make the plays you know you can make. You know yeah. they're not always going to work, but like I feel like when you're when you're a skilled player, you gotta you gotta do your thing, right? Like, but it was nice to see that you you seem to get more confidence the the, the further the season went. Yeah, I, I think for me it's just uh, a lot of it's kind of like picking and choosing my spots when I can. Uh, do some of the, the maybe the fancier stuff or, or whatever but um yeah I think once you start to you know kind of gain the coach's trust and and you start to feel feel good about yourself out there I think that's when you can kind of start to do that uh do those kinds of things and um yeah I think still probably sometimes where maybe it's it's not the right time to you know maybe try a, a spinner hammer or something <laughs> yeah. some <spinner> ram <laughs> at the blue line or something yeah. something ridiculous but yeah. uh yeah, just pick and choose your spots, and um, I think that's when I'm playing my best, when I'm, you know, yeah. kind of mixing some of that stuff in there. Yeah, no, it's fun. it's definitely fun to watch. I know when you scored that goal a few weeks ago, I just texted him, ooh, yeah. that was dirty. <laughs> yeah, sick. Baller, you got to put that clip in there. Well, um, what would you say, like you say, like, you're feeling out towards in his style, like, you know, to get that trust from the coach, especially a guy like that that's well-established and, you know, he's pretty black and white. Like, what what is it in your game that you really have to reel in or focus on to – to get that trust, that confidence from him for you to elevate your own confidence? Because it's kind of like, you know, the chicken and the egg type yeah. of deal. I, I would say for me especially, it was uh, kind of doing some of the little things more. Yeah. Uh, uh, definitely, I'm never going to be a, a physical guy, but, uh, you know, just trying to use my body a little more and, um, you know, making sure I'm in the right position, you know, using my stick, playing defensively and, I don't know. I, I would just say like little stuff like that. He obviously really appreciates like hard work and and uh, you know the little details. So um, you know, I just tried to kind of focus on that stuff for a while, and then uh, hopefully let the offense come and and what I can do. So um, that was kind of my approach to it in, in terms of him. And I think once I started to do some of that little stuff a little better, I think. Um, got a little more trust from him. Yeah, that's yeah. great advice for any young listener, really. Yeah. I mean, it's always the little yeah. details, right? It's like, yeah. yeah. It sounds cliche, it focused, but it's like, yeah, I know. It, it is though. true, it it is especially so with true. him. I think it does. It makes a difference. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Game, you know? because you could have all the skill in the world, but I mean, half the game you're playing without the puck anyways, yeah. right? And you're trying to get the puck back. So if you're just like hoping the puck's going to land up on your stick, like, you know, it's, yeah. it's never going to happen that way. But it's always, it is always the small details that, really separate you know the, the consistent players that play and that's the coach yeah mm -hmm. well you know yeah. no, I, never I never understood never understood it when i played <laughs> yeah. but I, I figured it out after the fact but You're it's patrolling the red line it, yeah i know right <laughs> <laughs> those details those right? details you're all over you're all over those uh, uh, frosty we don't need you doing that we, yeah. we don't need you, don't need you uh, patrolling the red you line you pay a little bit better when you're scoring goals but you know sure. it it makes me wonder like as a player uh when you are a, a skilled player, and he's he's putting these things about like, are you on the ice going? Okay, I got to get, I, you know, like is are five different things going through your head, but then you kind of get it and and you relax more because it looked like, like I said, once he he showed that confidence in you, like your game just you kept getting better. Yeah, you know, as the season went on, I think that's kind of like 
the little the little breakthrough that you need though is like I, that I, I'm not gonna lie there was times at the start of the year where I was probably feeling that way like you know just gripping the stick too tight and yeah. like you're almost playing to to not make mistakes right which yeah. is yeah. just going out way and to play. play and then instead of playing once you kind of once you kind of get past that and then you just kind of you're just playing hockey after that and I think for me at least like I, I play my best when I'm kind of uh, just like not overthinking things and um, trying not to be too hard on myself I think it's still something I need to work on but um, yeah I think once you kind of get through that stage and, and I kind of felt that I did and then I'm kind of just out there playing freely I think uh, that's when that's when I'm playing my best so. yeah, yeah I agree yeah, a lot of players have that block right it's like it is a game of mistakes right and to yeah. grip the stick thinking you're not going to make mistakes is yeah, like a hard gonna, way to yeah, play you're going to make mistakes you're going to make sure. mistakes so to, to, to play that way obviously within like within reason and, and the boundaries of the game and the, and the coach's philosophy mm-hmm. but like knowing that if you make a mistake it's okay you're going to you're going to hustle back and try and yep. you know make up for it as best as you can it's not like a just a mindless mistake right but mm-hmm. um, but it takes that again that confidence to think like that it's it's, yeah. it's tough when you're a young guy and you're trying to, you know, impress and all that yeah. stuff. Especially with like, a guy like, like yeah, exactly. Anyway, you feel like you're you always being know. micromanaged. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Um, but no, it's, it's 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 very visible to see that you're able to kind of have that breakthrough as you mentioned because yeah. you just your, ele- your your play just kept elevating, you know, and it's nice it's nice to see. You know. And it's got to give you confidence too going into next year. You know, like you you kind of have. Torts' trust, you can tell you do, and, and that's huge with a, with a coach like Torts. I mean, he'll say it right like, right out loud, but um, it, it's got to be good for you going into next year now. You know, you got to work on your game, you got everything you got to work on, but uh, coming in, knowing you have his trust is got to be really good because this year coming in, everybody's probably like, what the fuck's going to happen here? You know, because you hear all the stories, you see Torts, like, can't miss him. Yeah. That's for sure. So you, you, you must be feeling good you know, to get ready for the summer to come up for next year. Yeah, hundred percent. I think, uh, just kind of build, build on what I was doing at the end of the year. Um, I still think the way he is, I think it's, I'm still going to have to almost regain the trust again, right, right away at the start of the season. He's going to so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm, de- I'm definitely, I'm not banking on, uh, on him feeling that way, yeah. uh, throughout the summer, but, um, yeah, I'll, I'll be, I'll be working hard in the summer and, uh, I think, once you kind of get a, a little taste, of, a small little sample size of success uh, like that, I think it, it makes you, um, you know, hungry for more. So yeah. I think, uh, you know, I'll, I'll work even harder than I did last summer and, um, you know, hopefully just keep improving. Yeah, yeah. for sure. The, um, the, what if the ping pong ball drops the right way for the Flyboys? You trading that pick? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. We were joking about that earlier. Yeah. <laughs> what what's the what percent do we have? Do we know? Seven? seven? Is yeah. it seven ball? Seven? Yeah. yeah. You never know. Never know. You never know. Maybe never know. you know. But uh it it will be interesting to see where he goes. But there's a but it's it, it, this is a good draft. So um hopefully maybe we get lucky and move up, but you never know. Never Rick know. said he would trade the pick, he just doesn't think uh Flyers, no, Flyers don't want that. <laughs> uh, no, but uh, we we were talking with with your with uh, Beezer last week, Joe Faraby, and uh, we we were talking about we're we just don't think we're that far off. You know, the team is that far off. Like I think a lot of people do, uh, but I don't. Uh, you know, we we missed Coots, we missed Cam this year. Um, you throwing them back in, hopefully fully healthy. Knock wood for them. Um, but I don't think we're that far off to, to be competing for a playoff spot next year. I really don't. Yeah, no, I agree. And, uh, I mean, obviously, yeah, you get those two guys back there. Uh, you know, Coots is a, an unbelievable one center, one C in this league. And, um, you know, Cam's also first-line caliber player. So you bring those guys back. And uh, I think even you look at, at this year, I don't know how, how many I don't know how many games we lost in, in overtime or shootout. Right. But, yeah, that's a good point. Um, our, our record wasn't, wasn't pretty good in those scenarios. But... You, know, you you get a couple of those ones. We're really That's not true. we're really not that far away, and right. um, and that was that was even with you know battling against injuries. I think TK missed like twenty oh games. God, yeah. So um, yeah, I, I don't think we're we're that far off at all. I think uh, got a good young core and um, some good leadership, and uh, yeah, I'm excited for next year for sure. Yeah, we we are too. Yeah. I, 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 we we talked about this too. Um, the games like. You don't want to ever lose, but there's, I guess, kind of a good way to lose and a bad way to lose. And 
there weren't bad laws. You know, like if you guys were in the games, very competitive. Yeah. And like you said, we we did talk about Torch's two D in the three on three. I don't agree with that. Sorry, Torch, I don't. But like, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I'm not gonna ask you what you think about that. But we did. Our success wasn't very good in overtime. Yeah. Three on three. Like, how many won? One win. Did we win one, or is that, is that wrong? Sure. Baller? No, we we, we won a couple. We won the last one. Yeah, well, the last one. The there must right. have been so, one or two. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but I mean, I um, it was funny that he went that way with it. But you know, that's not the reason we lost games. But you're right. No. There's there's so many. You're right there, and you know, even half of those, you get a win. That's five, six more points. You know, whatever. But uh, Calgary kind of went through that too. Yeah, well, yeah. They yeah, had yeah, a 15 shit or 16. ton yeah. of uh, five of those. They're in the playoffs. No <laughs> you kidding. Know? Yeah, I think but, a lot of those too. I think uh, I think we we did a good job in, in coming back in games. We were never really yeah, out of it. Like, that's yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. We, we kind of would have uh, kind of would have some tough starts, but uh, I think it's a good sign uh, of a team when when you see that many times that we came back from from two or three goals to. Uh, you know, at least force it to overtime, yeah. and, and then whatever happens after that happens. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It's what I said to Joel. Like you, you never were really out of a game, yeah. even yeah. if you went down, say, three goals. You know, always you guys were always battling, playing hard, fighting, and it's 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 so much better to watch. You know, and it's I think Phillies. It, we got a lot to look forward to. Yeah, um, and I don't think it's going to take as long as, as people think. No, I think the the foundation is laid. We talked when we talked to Beezer last week. Talked about it. You know, the, the foundation seems to be laid. The identity seems to be back. Like you know, the essence yep. of what the Flyers represent is that work mm-hmm. and that resilience, uh, which is a huge piece of this. Right, you guys look like a team. You know, it came up short, but um, I guess we're we're kind of all saying the same thing here is that we're not far off. And yeah. a couple pieces added in the off season. Guys get healthy, and it's yeah. a completely different you know different game next year. So. Looking forward to it. Yeah, it's, me too. It's exciting. It's, it's exciting. as challenging as this year has been. Um, there's a lot to look forward to. Yeah. Nasty Knuckles listeners, it's time to get your real estate in top form. You need DLI Commercial to help you on your next construction project. These experts know how to take your project from the penalty box to all-star caliber. From complete build-outs to major renovations, they've got you covered. Let DLI Commercial help you make your next construction project a real power play. For more deets, you need to head on over to their website, dlicommercial.com. Is Steph Curry going to make it through this first round? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Your boy? Man, I, was, I was already, I've been talking about that already. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to stay away down. from it. We they, always, they just don't look the same. No. Dray, Draymond just got suspended for tonight too, oh, which boy. is insane. And they're back, they're home tonight, right? Yeah. Are they at home tonight? Yeah. Well, that's their that's their issue. They can't win on the road. Yeah, right. They're not losing at home, though. Yeah. They, they, all right. You heard it here. Yeah. yeah. Debo, put your bats in now. They, they don't Never lose bet against the greatest shooter of all time. That's right. He but, is. Yeah, it's good. But, yeah, they're, uh, that Kings team is, is looking pretty good, though. Kind yeah. of out of nowhere. Yeah, out of nowhere. That's what I said. That's what yeah. I was saying, my buddies. We, um, we watched them play, actually, uh, when we were in Dallas. We went to the, to the Mavericks game. We watched them play there. Oh, and, cool. And, uh. Yeah, that De'Aaron Fox and, and Sabonis together, pretty, pretty yeah. special. So. Yeah, they're, they're, they're good. It would be cool to see that after uh, how many years it had been, like 16 years, oh something my God. ridiculous. They, I, so. You guys were babies. Was uh, White Chocolate was there with uh, Chris Weber. They, that was when they were good. They had yeah. Vladi Divac. You know who that is, Ross? You have no, <laughs> no idea. No yeah. Boys, I got to tell you this. We were talking about a trade one day. We are talking about Kyrie Irving getting traded. And he comes uh, walking in, and I, I just finished tell, saying to Baller, like, yeah, Irving to Dallas. And he's like, oh, yeah? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and he, he thinks we're talking about hockey. <laughs> he's like, which guy is this who's now? A, who's yeah, he's a young he's prospect. <laughs> I said, yeah, they're gonna, he's going to wear number two. He's pulling it out. Right? He's That's like, awesome. Oh, fuck. But anyway, Riles doesn't watch. He's, he's, a, he's a small skill guy. He's going <laughs> to yeah, wear number two. And he's, he's going to wear number two. That's what I said to him. Yeah. I'm like, he's going to f- put Hatch's number on. <laughs> oh, man. I was, we were That's crying. Awesome. But oh, um, uh, you guys went to Philly. Uh, Six or playoff game the other night. That's that's yep. pretty cool. You got energy in the building. Yeah, it was that was awesome to see. Uh, definitely, definitely some good seats there. And, yeah, um, that was sick. You know, watching watching the big boy Joel Embiid do his Isn't thing crazy, from that man? close is is pretty special. So yeah, it was a lot of fun. When he when he first came here, I I 
I think it was DZ. I think uh, Michael Delzato was here, and he got us courtside, so we were there. But but Joel wasn't playing. It was when they were holding him out. I think he had a stress fracture in his foot or something at the time. But he was out there warming up. I mean, he looked. I'm like, why is this guy not playing? Yeah. Like, because he was he he was going through the full warm ups, everything. But he, I guess, one of the co, they're like whistling at him. Enough, you got to come off. This guy comes from the left side, dribbling. He's seven two, right? Like big Joel. He's yeah, seven uh, two, some, somewhere around yeah, there. Somewhere like but he's a big man. He comes in, he jumps up, ball under his leg, dunks it over his back over his head. And I'm like, what, what the fuck did I just see? Like he's a big man to yeah. make that kind of a move. I'm like, this guy should be playing, put him yeah. in the damn lineup. But uh, watching him dribble is is pretty insane too. Like yeah. the, his hands, his, it's, yeah. it's it's pretty wild. It, it makes you wonder a little bit. I know we're getting off topic here with <laughs> hockey. We're talking about basketball. Sorry, but but Shaq could shoot free throws. Joel could shoot the ball, yeah. man. Like, yeah, he can. Joel could shoot the ball, man. Yeah. He's, He's a hell of a player. Um, who do you got winning the cup? I mean, it's pretty cliche. I think it's hard to go against Boston. Yeah. Um, I think someone out of the East is going to win it, though. I, I think uh, I think the Rangers are, are pretty sneaky good, and they they added those guys. And mm-hmm. um, you know, if your goal is Shesterkin, I think you know anything can kind of happen. So um, I would say probably those teams have the, the yeah, two best chance, I in agree. my opinion. But yeah. and then the West, I think, is is pretty. Wide open, in my opinion. I think uh, it'd be cool to see uh, Edmonton and, and McDavid, you know, kind of make it there. So. Well, I, I had to inform Riles he had Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> Chicago and Columbus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, but I, I agree with you. We that's that's who I have Colorado making it against Boston. So we'll see. It'll be interesting. I'm a nerd. I like watching. I like watching all these games, um, but. Frosty had a great year, man, and, and it's not a surprise to me. Um, you know, you're a highly skilled player, and I think the more you get to play and get put in those spots, it's it's going to be even better for the Flyers, and we appreciate you coming, uh, hanging out with us. Last time we had to do a video. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, we appreciate you coming in, brother. Yeah, thanks thanks for having me. Always fun, and uh, it's good to see you guys. It's been a while. I know, man. Thanks, Frosty. Yeah, thank you. Big thank you to our friend Morgan Frost for stopping by. Big number 48, hippity hop on hippity by. Hoppity by. <laughs> yeah, he's calling him Bunny these days, <laughs> Riles. Yeah. Uh, great guy, man. Yeah. Um, like we talked about with him, big year for him. You know, yeah, like, pretty cool uh, Especially, year. you know, more in the second half, kind of. Uh, Torch seemed to take a liking to him, even though he's kind of hard on him, like he was saying. But um, <clears throat> he showed what he has. And, yeah. You know, like in the toolbox there, he's got some skill and. Hopefully that chemistry with, you know, like Tippett and, and other guys that he gets to play with, TK, if he ends up playing with him, you know, he just keeps growing and getting better. Yeah. So um, you, you can see that he's got it, though. We yeah, talked about definitely. that uh, on the first time we had him on. If you haven't seen that episode, go back and watch it because we talk a lot about that. But um, uh, great kid, uh, works his butt off, you know. Wish him the best, and we appreciate him coming on. Yeah, for sure. It's nice to see him break through because he could easily go the other way when you get squeezed like that by yeah. a coach that's hard on you, right? And exactly. So it took a little time, and then he got going, and then he really started thriving. And yeah. just, you could see just his, his confidence just was uh, was obviously increased. And yeah, he brought it, and, and yeah, you just you could see the skill and, and the high level performance. So hopefully, yeah, he can for sure. build on that in the off season, come back strong next year. And, yeah, be a better he, player. Yeah, he's a uh, he's. I think he's bigger than people think too. Like he's a strong kid, you know. Like well, he, you look. Yeah, you look at him. He's small in stature, but right, he, but, but he's, he's like, but he is, but he is. Thick, yeah, he's you know? got more meat on him yeah. than I than I thought even. Right, you know. Yeah, um, he's uh, strong. Le- you know, legs and and um, he's he's actually not a bad skater at all. Right. Uh, you know, on top of that, we never really talk about it, but um, very skilled, highly skilled yeah. player. So hopefully, he just keeps. Yep, exactly. Wish him the best. Yep. It's that time, Nast. Is it time for clear questions? It is. Brought to you by Clear Rum. Oh, yeah. Delicious, by the way. Did you order your uh, batch up? Yeah, where is it? It's coming. Call the boys. It's in the mail. I'll just uh, drink more of it. Well, then we'll have to order another batch. <laughs> we'll just order more. There right. we go. What do we got, <laughs> yeah, Baller? What do you got, Baller? All right, well, we actually got four this week. Ooh. Oh. This one's from Kara Davenport over on Instagram. What are some of your best off ice moments with some of the current Flyers players? Ooh, nice. I mean, you hang out with them. I mean, probably wiffle ball incident. Probably got to be top of this. Wiffle ball is fun. Yeah. Um, 
<laughs> golf, play golf with some of the boys the other day. Um, just hanging out, you know, like just normal guy stuff. I don't even know if you think about it as them being players, you know what I mean? Yeah, just, right. Uh, knowing them so long. and um, But, yeah, we had a really good day the other day. Uh, I was laughing because Carter's neighbors were out on their deck and I don't know if they're hockey fans because he just got to this uh, place he's in like midway through the year. And I was like, wonder, wonder if they're like looking over there going, like it's like half the Flyers hockey team. You right. know, if they're fans or if they're not, they're just probably like, oh, these kids are playing loud right. music. Yeah, exactly. You're playing Play football, ball, yeah. the ball's coming over in your yard. We keep creeping over to get, you know, balls, uh, they get fouled back. Um, but, uh, yeah, stuff like that's fun when you get to hang out. And, you, and it's not about hockey. It's just about hanging and having a good time so yep. i would say you know that's pretty cool yeah and that and uh when they when they stop by here and yeah. say what's up and hang <laughs> out for a bit and one of my <laughs> customers that came in the other day was like walks in there's like six of the guys here or whatever right. it was you know and he was just like oh my god and then when they left he was like this was the greatest thing ever <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah it's it's that's cool they're just regular dudes yeah living regular lives outside of the rink yeah having fun having fun this is from quinn over on Twitter. Nasty, as the prank master, <laughs> what's the most creative prank you've ever seen or heard about player on player? Ooh, man. Wow. I think we talked about one time. I mean, I don't know it's creative, but I've seen guys cut arms off of jackets. <laughs> you know, you That's can't do that anymore, yeah, man. I, um, I remember I think I told a story one time where Peter Svoboda nailed Garth Snow's shoes into the, ben- <laughs> into the bench. I've seen guys glue guys' shoes to the ceiling, and you never look up to no, find your right. shoes. And, That's a good one. And everyone's laughing, you know. Man, I'm trying to what think. What was of- the one with, uh, I mean, we talked about it before with Raffle. Was he... Was it you that oh, sewed? Oh, well, yeah, that was me. I sewed his, uh, <laughs> I sewed his phone into his That's pants, pretty, that's pretty but good. But he couldn't figure it out. He had long pockets, so... A- <laughs> Got it in there, and then I, you have to turn it inside out and then sew across. So he could put his hand in his pocket, right? but it would but only it go so it. far. But his phone was in there, and you, we've we've shown a clip before. He's like, I thought there was a secret pocket in me, you know, in my <laughs> pants. <laughs> But, um, yeah, like I think probably the most creative, I don't even know if it's creative, but like guys putting someone's shoes on the ceiling and, and stuff like you've seen, I've seen like the, the, not real popcorn, but that packing popcorn in a car before. Oh, yeah. Um, so any dead fish in the back trunk, let, let her fest, let her. Hey, didn't that happen? Who yeah. Did who that? did that happen to? That did happen. That's disgusting. And it, yeah. That's <laughs> that just ruined, gross. That ruined the car. That's gross. Yeah. It was Get underneath the seat. St- underneath the seat. And they yeah, couldn't yeah. figure it out. Like, just, how can you not figure <laughs> yeah, it out? Like, just, maybe just look. God, just who like was that? Fish. I can't remember who that was, but. That was a long time ago, that one. I guess that's creative, but that's disgusting yeah. at the same time. Um, so great question, but creative, I, I, I would guess maybe the shoes on the ceiling just yeah. because, you know, you're looking everywhere except there yeah. to find them. So pretty good. Yeah. Sandy's Minnesota over on Twitter. Is it weird that the flyers have a coach and a GM and then are going to hire a president? Shouldn't the president hire the GM and the coach? That's a good question. That's a good question. Kind of the way it happens. Yeah, I think it's just based on yeah, exactly that the circumstances. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think traditionally it is the other way around, right? Well, um, I guess D- but, Dave but, Scott but, made the move, so he was kind of was in. Well, I guess Chuck Chuck was, was president, president and GM. So when you let him go, you don't have a president. So the guy above him, I guess makes that call. Yeah. But they haven't taken the interim tag off of Danny yet, which we were hoping would happen by now. Yeah. Um, I'm sure it will be soon. Well, yeah, we, I think we talked about this last week, but, uh, you know, we had heard that that would get removed once they hire the president. Yes. Cause God forbid they hire the president and they don't like the GM. But I just can't see that happening. <laughs> I don't see that happening. No, obviously not. But I think just the circumstances of this situation. Yeah. Um, but I think traditionally it's it is the other way around, right. right? I mean, for sure. So unique situation. We got one more from Steve Coates. Ooh. Coatesy. 
We know him. We know him. When are we going to get a Debo face and voice reveal? The man is an enigma. He is. He is. And Ooh. he likes being a mystery, ladies. He just said that. This guy, we, we're going to do something. We were just talking, talking about, about that. It's a great yeah. question, Coatsy, because we were talking about that. Debo's going to make his debut, and it's going to be... It's going to be, be powerful. Oh, yeah. yeah. We'll, sit, we'll sit in the, in the background, lay in the oh, weeds, and God. produce it. You, you might get seven words in 30 minutes, but they're going to be powerful, powerful words. But Debo will be making an appearance. We can guarantee you that. got to get his uh, playoff picks. and. Oh, yeah. Well, we know he wants. He wants the Islanders. Of course he does. And we know why. Oh, Bo. Big Bo. Big Bo. Big Bo. That's his boy. He, well, how many? Oh, he's got oh, one big goal. <laughs> <laughs> He's having a rough time. <laughs> he had a rough time. He gave it to your uh, Vancouver fans, though, didn't he? Good for him. Yeah. Well, if he was really okay. contributing a lot, I could say that. But no, I, you're right. It was kind of it actually was kind of funny, but some people didn't like it. No, they did not, not like that. But um, yeah, that will happen. Debo's coming out. Oh this yeah, is coming out party. And maybe we're talking about we'll just throw it out there. We're not sure of the date yet, but a tailgate. We'll be doing a Phillies tailgate, and Debo's going to be up DJing, and you'll oh, see yeah. him as he's fucking getting the whole thing going. Yeah. Tearing some rug? Oh, yeah. Doing it all. No, oh, the full package. <laughs> the full package for show. <laughs> Is that a wrap, now? That's a wrap before you think Kyrie's getting traded again. <laughs> yeah. We better wrap her up. <laughs> That's episode 115 of the books, Nas. Is that you your cell that? phone? <laughs> No, I'm just happy to see you. <laughs> just happy to see me. <laughs> yeah, one fifteen. One fifteen in the books. Until next week for one sixteen. Be sure to check us out on YouTube and Apple Podcasts. Subscribe, like, comment, and stay safe, knuckleheads. See ya.